So question two then from paper two of the 2021 Higher Maths Resource paper. Four marks this time for that it is Euclidean algorithm to help you solve this Diophantine equation here. You have to use the Euclidean algorithm to find integers a and b that satisfy this. Well, that means you're going to need to find what the biggest number is that divides into 105 and 72. You can probably guess it's going to be 3. But you have to go through it because you need those stages to be able to go through them in reverse. So the first thing you say is, is it 72? Does 72 go into 105? No, it doesn't. There's only one of them. And that's going to be 33 left over. Right, OK. Now, does 33 go into them all then? That means does 33 go into this? We'll try that. 72. Does 33 go into it? No. Two of them make 66. So there'll be six left over. OK. What about six? You know it's three anyway. Does six go into them all? Well, let's try it. So, 33. Does six go into that? No. There's five of them. And there's three left over. Right, we'll try again. What about three? Well, that's it, isn't it? Six. That's two times three. With zero left over. So that was it. Three. So the greatest common divisor... Will I put it? I'll just put it here. The greatest common divisor is 3. Now that's the first mark. I have to go through all of that. Now I've got to go through it backwards, and that's why I indicated this little line here, because that's the greatest common divisor. I want to construct a 3 by using the 105s and 72. So you just start reading this backwards. Where will I put it? I'll just put it here. Right, so 3 is equal to 33, take away 5, lots of 6. I'm just going to use a little dot now. Not a decimal point, just a little dot for the multiplication, because it gets full of wee crosses. Now, I can change one of them. That 6, I can change using this line. So 33, take away 5, lots of. Now, what can 6 be replaced by? So I've stepped up to this line. That was 72, take away 2, lots of 33. Now, at that point, they're giving you the second mark for starting off that reverse process to try and get back and find how many of each of these you'll need. Now, you've just got to finish it, keep finishing this off. So you've got one lot of 33 there, plus 10 lots of 33, so you've got 11 lots of 33, minus 5 lots of 72. Now, yes, those be dots should be crosses, but just using a sort of algebraic part here, just so it doesn't look quite so messy. Right, now I can still use that line. Now I step up to this line, I can replace that 33. So that's 11 lots of 105, minus just one lot of 72. And I want to specifically see that one, I know it's just 72. Take away five lots of 72, so I'm almost there. So there's only one thing that mentions 105, but I'll put it in. I've got 11 times 105, and that's going to be minus 11, minus 5, that's minus 16 lots of 72. Now from that, I can compare that to the original one and now say that means that A must be whatever's multiplying 105, that's the 11. And B must be whatever's multiplying the 72, that's a negative 16. That gets the third mark. In part B, it says, hence find integers x and y such that 105x and 72y, that's the same thing, only comes to 360 this time. Well, if it's to come to more, you'll have to put in more. And if it comes to 120 more, you'll have to put in 120 more. How could I show that? I'm not really sure. You could say, well, I've got 120 times it. So if that comes to 120 times 3, it must have been 120 times the original one. It must have been 120 times 105 by 11 and 72 multiplied by negative 16. In which case, that x must be 120 times that, that's 132 with a 0. And y must be, that's a bit more of a pest, that'll be negative and that'll be, well I've got a 0 at the end, 72, 190, 1920, I mean. So there's the pair.